All right, Richard says, K, what do you do to keep yourself from over trading after making a profitable trade? Um, I don't trade after I make profit. So I'm not really sure how to reply. <laughs> yeah, do you trade after you win the trades? Or do you become overconfident? And that's why maybe you over trade. You want to make more. You want to make more profits. Maybe that's why. I'm not really sure, but uh, yeah, after making a profitable trade, simply I don't trade. I want because I want to reset my emotion. I want to reset my mind. So rather than going in right before, I, right after I close my position with the profit, I prefer to stay away and reset my emotion and come back. Yeah, but uh, over trading is, I mean, uh, take trades after you win is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You can, if you find, let's say, another entry chance after you close the positions, it's okay. If, uh, if you find the right trading edge, you can take it because you may be able to run other profits. But sounds like you use the word over trading. And sounds like by doing that, you keep losing. You may be losing the profits you made in the previous trades. And that's why I think using the word over trading. Um, and if so, then I recommend you to stay away and reset your mindset, reset your emotion, and come back afterwards. And by the time you come back to, to the chart, the market may, may have gone up a lot. And you may feel you lost all these pips, but it's okay. Because the markets are always there 24 hours with or without you. It's always there. So you can look for the next opportunities anytime. Yeah. So over trading itself is not really good. Uh, sorry, over trading itself is okay. But uh, if you ignore your own emotion, if you ignore your own um, state of mind, then over trading might not really good for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And in last word, I would like to add this one before ending the video today. And that is improve step by step every day and never try to be successful tomorrow. Because uh, oftentimes I see some traders comes to the Forex market or in other markets and they try to be successful as soon as possible. And that motivation is okay, but uh, if you rush to make profits, if you rush to achieve some goal, then uh, you may fail very quickly. Because success only comes based on this continuation of the step-by-step -step effort, step-by-step -step improvement every day. So success does not relate to how much you know about the trades, how much you know about the indicators or the markets. The success only comes from this improvement continuously, step-by-step. -step. So even when you're losing, then look back your trades and look for the areas you can improve your trades and even if it's successful also, look back your own successful trace and try to find an area to improve your trace. Maybe your profit might be a bit too early or your break-even timing might be a, too, a bit too early too or your stop loss was a bit too tight also. So in both ways, whether it's a losing trace or winning trace, uh, please look back your own trace because that's the only way you can success in the long term. So thank you for watching until the end. If you liked it, please press the like button. And I will see you on the next one. So until then, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.